Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I've got a great video for you today. If you use Microsoft Forms, Microsoft Forms works with Microsoft 365 personal accounts and it works with business accounts. This video is specifically focused on a new feature for business accounts. I now have file upload. And so I can allow people when they're filling out a form to upload Word, Excel, PowerPoint, JPEG, audio files, video files, PDF files. I can even limit the number of files that they upload. And what is also cool is when I do this and people submit their files, it goes to a folder inside of SharePoint automatically. So let's take a look at setting this up and then let's have a user actually upload some files. And then I'll show you where the files are stored. So I've signed into Microsoft Forms, which is web-based, nothing to download. Just go to office.com and then sign in um, with your business account. I'm going to do a new form just to keep this really easy. Uh, we want people to submit pictures of their home office for a newsletter. So you could use this for any type of file upload that you need. If you're having a new uh, website created, maybe you need headshots of your staff since everyone's working remotely, you could have that. Add new, been here before, you know the questions. If you don't know, I've done videos on this already. I'm gonna add just one other question just to have something in here. So let's do a multiple choice question. I'm making this up. Do you enjoy working from home? And then we'll do the file upload. And we're going to do yes, and we're going to do no. Not required. Add new, and here we go. We're going to do a file upload. And it tells you down below that a new file is going to be created on SharePoint. And this is where the files are going to be stored when people submit the form. I'm going to click on OK. And it asks me, what's, what's the question you need? Um, please send photos of your home office. And I'm making this up a Word doc describing it. Just making that up. How many files do you want them to do? Obviously, you need at least one. Ten's the max. I'm going to keep this at two. One is a picture of the home office. One is a Word doc if they want to send me that. Do you want to have a limit on the files? Notice it's a single file size limit. So if you pick ten, one can be ten and the next image or next upload could be 10. We'll keep it at 10. That's plenty. Required, yes or no. I'm going to keep it no. There you go. So I'm going to share this with somebody internally. So I'm going to go to share. Copy the link. So I'm going to show you how this works now. And here is where I was playing with this earlier. So I know it works. Uh, somebody else that I work with is going to paste this and now it says home office here. That's what I just created. We know because this is um, forms with your Microsoft 365 business account, we know who this is. This I know that this is Carol's account. But Carol's subscribing. That's why I didn't ask for her name. Upload. Let's test this. We said two. I'm going to try four. No, it even tells me two is the limit. It even tells you what type of files you can upload over here. One more attempt. Let's go with an Excel file. I'm just making this up. And here's an image right here. So we've got one called Today Test, and we also have another one called Today Function Excel Menard Blog. Perfect. Submit. So Carol submitted those. Back to me, there's my one response already. I know that Carol submitted two forms. Uh, just so you know this, if you open this up in Excel, this is really cool. It still summarizes all the results you have. And it also even has a field showing you the files that people upload. But the question is, well, where are these files now? So I'm going to come back here. Oops, I'm going to go back to responses. And more details. When I click on more details, there's Carol. 
view and folder. So this should take me to a SharePoint site right here. And it does. If you look up at that URL, there are the two files from Carol. This is what's interesting. The first one that Carol sent was called Today Test. So Microsoft Forms put an underscore and then put her name after it. And it did it for the second file also. It's cut off a little bit. But trust me, it is in there. There's an underscore Carol Wilson. So that is Microsoft Forms. That is the new upload file feature only for business people. One important note, if you do an upload file question, you can only send this internally. It will not let you share this with people outside your company or organization. So that's why when I go to share, anyone can respond as gray out, grayed out because it's only people inside my organization that can do an upload file. Something to remember. Anyway, I still think it's a great feature, great way to collect a bunch of files. You know who sent them, you know who replied. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions about this Microsoft Forms feature, please let me know. Have a great day. Thank you.